for the run. However, finally uh, a use for all that yump practice. Orb! <sighs> we made it, Toad! We made it! GG. I see you did a great job out there. I don't know if you guys saw or heard that, uh, but layer two suddenly happened. <laughs> God. <laughs> Waited a thousand years just to start the level and then I die immediately. Like that. What? Okay, I was about to be really mad. Beginning, it was because. Um, I had more input lag than I realized, and I would try to press the button visually lining it up with exactly when I was jumping off of an enemy, and I would constantly be missing it because, uh, didn't I say I was doing this mushroomless? Oh well. Like three bosses you have to fight, and then, uh... After you beat all of them, you have to jump in a pool of lava, and you get no credits. Two hits. Four hits. Five, so he's now in phase three. Six. <laughs> Guys, I can't try it mushroomless. <laughs> it's probably gonna be next Saturday if I had to guess. Um <laughs> <laughs> to say goodbye <laughs> goodbye and thank you for being here i appreciate you guys a lot <laughs> bye everybody it's over that's that's new soup i just wouldn't have been able to name the area See that bonsai hit the lava? Well, that's easy. There we go. should be just about ready. Let me come out here and make sure that my chat's actually working. Oh, spike a spike. Not really that fancy. I don't have anything on screen except for the, the cameras. So... I don't think I can do much about spike a spike barking. And he will want to bark because he can see out the window back there. I was going to be doing a stream. 
So we're going to be cooking two things right now. Uh, we're going to do deviled eggs. And then um, we're going to do uh, grilled cheese as well. Because I'm hungry. I've already got a pot of water boiling. So I'm just going to throw this in. I'm doing six eggs because that's a good number of eggs to do. I'm not going to be sitting down and eating all of them right now. They're going to also accompany my dinner. Hey, one of those is cracked. <laughs> uh, welcome in, Horrorly. Uh, that's, that's not something that I would do. We're getting the, the full spike experience, because he's seeing cars drive by that he can bark at. And I would close the blinds, but uh, uh, they're fairly broken. I just don't like how they look closed. Alright, so I'm getting out the rest of the stuff I need, which is my mayonnaise and mustard. Uh, otherwise, I think I already have everything out. I was thinking about putting pickles on the on the deviled eggs, but I don't think I'm going to. At the same time, why not? This is Chiad. I would prefer if she is not on the counter while I'm trying to cook. I mean, I've got 10 minutes while I'm waiting for the eggs to finish boiling. I'm using only the highest quality ingredients. Your Kraft American Cheese singles. Oh no no, not at the same time. After I finish, uh, after I finish cooking, we'll go back and do SMW. Oh, TikTok chat. Hold on, one second. Can I smash an egg on my head? Uh, if you do $250 of that up front, I will smash a an egg on my head. I have missed every single TikTok gift because they don't really show up in the, the thing that I'm looking at. But thank you, Huday, for the gifts. Pass. All right. Have a good one. Why is that not showing up? Camera looks better on TikTok? Ah, eh, whatever. It's all the same. What am I making? I'm making deviled eggs and a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm actually going way fancier on grilled cheese than I normally would. Because normally it would just be American cheese. But I'm also putting some sharp cheddar on there. I'm uh, eventually going to plan to do 
do something a little bit more ambitious than a sandwich and boiling eggs. But this is pretty much just to try to get me used to cooking on camera again. American cheese is the best cheese to use for grilled cheese. I will hear no ill word about American cheese. Yeah, one of those eggs is really badly cracked. It's actually turned up too high also. Turn that down some. Uh, let's see. I need some ice. In a mixing bowl. So pardon the ice getting noises. Butter's melted, we'll get the sandwich down. American cheese is the best cheese for melting, because it will melt and become smooth. That's why I mix cheddar cheese on there as well, give it a little more flavor. really not a whole lot I can do while I'm waiting for the eggs to boil and for the sandwich to cook. <laughs> tea? I already have some tea. Oh, actually I need to make some more. I have enough to make to pour a glass, but... It would help to brew some more, because I'm going to need more for later. I should make some more cold brew so that uh, making coffee is less of a labor-intensive process for me. I wish I could tell you the song that we're listening to. It's uh, it's something from OC Remix, which means it's video game music. <laughs> but this is not something that I recognize. Oh, we can see my kettle, my uh, my LED kettle. I have a really nice kitchen. I am extremely happy with it. How's my day? My day's been okay. Uh, I went out and cut the grass earlier. I didn't get to all of it because the the batteries I didn't fully charge them. <laughs> You're gonna love the way I make tea, Theron. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's uh, Babietsu from Civilization. Yeah, can you actually see Spike? I guess you probably can. Yeah, Matt, I've been meaning to do a cooking stream for a while. That is not done. Ah, the cheese is getting everywhere. It'll be fine. Huh. 
How about my dog? What's his name? His name is Spike. Uh, I have three cats. I guess you really can't see any of them right now. I've got Chiad, who is the fluffy black one. I have Bane, who is a uh, shorter haired black cat. And I have Perrin, who is an enormous cat. The stream is getting pixelated at times, but the audio is strong. I might have to look into the, the settings for the cameras then. Hey, Robin. Yeah, one of those eggs is a disaster. I'll use it as a sacrifice. Was it difficult to set this up? Um, sort of. Uh, I have a, a, a ring light with a stand that I've got two cameras on, and then another I've just got up on the wall with um, command strips. Uh, I, I've got three old cell phones that I'm not using anymore that everything is powered by. Oh, this sandwich is practically uncooked. But the cheese had spilled and got everywhere. I wouldn't normally use the shredded cheese. What do I recommend on streaming? What do you mean? You, you have to be more specific, more specific with your question. Getting hungry? I've been that way. Hopefully we can fix that soon. All right, eggs have... About a minute left on them right now. Setup? I mean, the vast majority of what people do is they just put, well, and I'm, I'm talking about game streaming here. They put the game in as full screen as they can and they put the, uh, uh, either a webcam or something to represent themselves in the bottom left corner. And that's all you really need. You can get more fancy with that if you want to. All right, timer says it's done. Thankfully, it's just the one egg that was cracked. In the interest of trying to show what I'm doing, I'm gonna bring the eggs back over here to this camera. And I'll bring the ice water to the eggs. Try to get them cooled down so I can actually do something with them. The cheese are not part of the deviled eggs, just to be clear. The best game to start streaming on? Whatever you have fun with. I started doing Mario Maker. Um, Mario Maker was a very convenient streaming game because uh, there is a 
large community of people that are creating levels and they just want to see literally anybody play them. Um, that was that was easy to get my foot in the door on. And then um, playing more and more levels, uh, I just gotten good at the game. Uh, thank you very much for the Hermie gift. I'd like to have the chat set up where I could look at it more directly, but that's that's fine. All right, this is still cooking. show you guys the the really ugly egg I must have had a crack in it that I did not see closer look at the kettle um, it's done boiling spike the neighbors are allowed to exist Discuss this. <laughs> I don't. I, I think Spike would be fine with the neighbors if he actually met them. But when he sees them only in cars and only from far away, it's uh, more difficult for him to deal with the concept. That was two family-sized bags of tea to make half a gallon of tea eventually. Theron, you're on TikTok? I did not realize that. You were admiring the dog and cat in Boonie's stream. Um, I could move the kettle to give a closer look. Uh, I don't have any free outlets over here, though. I really don't want to unplug any of my my phone cameras. Put it back. I actually really like this kettle. The the LEDs on it were completely incidental. It's just something that holds and boils water. <laughs> you gotta go? Alright. Actually, have a good one. Give him a raise. Yeah, I've got a, a thing for doing cold brew. But, uh... Oh, you know what I was forgetting was some hot sauce. I just haven't felt like making cold brew for a little bit. When's the next stream? Uh, well, we're going for a little bit right now. I'm probably going to take a break and do a, a little bit of SMW for the ROM hack race tonight, which is going to be a cape level. That's pretty exciting. Hey, Snick. Get a plate for my sandwich. Alright, I think my eggs are probably cool enough to work with, but I'm going to evacuate the sandwich before I start trying to do anything with them. Alright, 
Next day I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Cooking show? Yeah, I, I'd like to plan to do like a cooking stream once a week. Uh, that would be a very good thing for me to do because it would incentivize me to keep my kitchen looking good. Um, it's actually probably the cleanest that it's ever been right now. Difficulty of the Romac race, it's 7 out of 10. It's going to be a cape level. No, you're fine. Alright, uh... So here's how I peel eggs. I miss, uh, I, I used to work in a grocery store deli, and one of my responsibilities was making all the deviled eggs. And I miss that because uh, we got to use already peeled eggs, so I didn't have to worry about peeling them. Yeah, so I was considering maybe flipping my body like my uh, my face cam. Oh, this is. Uh, it's fine. I crack the bottom of the eggs very very thoroughly. What time will the rom hack race be? It's 8 p.m. Yeah. And then I roll the egg to crack the sides. And it usually comes off pretty cleanly. Uh, I've got some bits there. I'm going to need to rinse that off. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That would involve a jar. I'm pretty practiced at peeling eggs. Yeah, Jonas, I, I'd uh, I'd done some videos, but uh, I like the live format a little bit better, I think. these eggs off. Uh, I'm actually gonna save the eggshells. I compost them. Oh yeah. Might as well peel the the last ugly egg too. Which I'm not going to turn into a deviled egg, but I will eat as a snack. Here's how ugly that one is. Probably should save jars, but 
just not in the habit of it. Alright, I'm pretty happy with how these eggs look. We're gonna cut into them in a second and see what the insides look like, but uh, I'm pretty confident they're cooked properly. Exactly what I want out of hard boiled eggs or deviled eggs. So, I am a little bit lacking in equipment. I don't have a, a pastry bag, which I would normally use for uh, doing deviled eggs. Hey there, Amba Singh. So, I take the. Uh, the yolks, and they're going to go in a fine mesh strainer. That's going to ensure that I get uh, nothing but extremely tiny pieces, because I'm going to push everything through the strainer. How long did I boil them? Uh, it was 12 minutes. To all puppies and kitties in the area that can hear me. I actually You're don't. Good babies. I don't have any Ziploc bags. That would have been my uh, my fallback, and I went to grab one out of the box, and I learned that the box was completely empty. The room behind me looks a little barren. Um. Well. I plan to maybe put in like a table, but you're seeing like half of it. The other half is uh, where the TV stand is. I'm not really going to put anything directly in front of the windows. And I'm upset. I think you can probably see it. Yeah, the, um, the cat stuff on the wall, it's all just falling apart. So I'd never finished putting it all together because I'm going to have to take it down and reevaluate what I'm doing with it. Hey, Melissa. I would share the deviled eggs. Go ahead and actually eat this. Ugly one. Not doing a house tour. Should be cleaning. I got all my cleaning out of the way this morning. We don't have to worry about the egg anymore because it's gone. Why is it falling apart? Because I'm mashing it into the strainer. I'm pushing it through the strainer, in fact. my method for deviled eggs um which part the pushing it through the strainer because yeah see this is extremely fine i was taught to do that working in a grocery store deli oh why is the cat stuff falling apart excuse me 
Uh, it's poorly made. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I will never go back at this point. And I also measure everything with my heart. Uh, when it comes to doing deviled eggs. Just the way I was taught to do it. And I'll taste and adjust if it needs it. gotten most of it put up before I had any problems with it but one of the cats jumped on it and uh, the one thing that's a little strange I'm putting in my deviled eggs I'm putting a little dill in Ooh, that's actually too much <laughs> I don't put pimento cheese now I think this is probably going to need, well, we'll see, because I'm still adding vinegar to this. It's a little on the dry side right now, but the vinegar should loosen it up. making this literally just for myself so I don't need to worry about um, potentially contaminating it which means I get to eat right off the fork that I'm stirring with need some more mayonnaise Yeah, it's really hard to mess up deviled eggs. I'm using uh, seasoned rice vinegar, which means it has a little bit of sweetness to it already. Which is a nice touch to have in deviled eggs. <laughs> Dupu can catch up later. Oh, and my tea is done brewing. Your parents find a way to ruin devil eggs? Oh no. Alright, that looks really good actually. Take the tea bags out. I'm going to do something that's going to cause physical pain to Theron. Uh... I'm going to throw some sugar in here and some, oops, wrong cupboard, some lemon packets. Lemon packets, I said. And then I'm going to water the whole thing down. Trusty measuring cup here.
Why would I water it down? Because I didn't have enough uh, hot water from the kettle in order to uh, make it the proper strength. I say hi to your cat, Gingy. Hello, your cat, Gingy. I actually wasn't even planning on making tea, I just ran out. And it goes straight in the fridge. Through the magic of making two of them, I already have some tea. Hey, baloney. Okay. Uh, well. I've got my filling for the eggs. It's totally done. Give it one more taste. Those are good. That's actually really good. It's been a while since I made deviled eggs. And... Unfortunately, the only way I have of getting the filling into the eggs is just spooning them in. Oh, I was supposed to, uh... There were a few people I was supposed to be telling about doing a cooking stream, and I neglected doing that. That's fine. No. Kitty cat that just jumped up on the counter. What hack is this? This is, uh. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna drink the tea hot. That would just be gross. Revolution. <laughs> How I wish I had any kind of plastic bag. It would make this much more convenient. You cannot have any. Super Chef of World, ha. Huh? Okay, give him a raise. Have a good night. And I have extra filling somehow, which always happens. The, the difficulty is finding something to do with it. Sometimes, 
that just involves eating it with a spoon. I forgot to use the hot sauce. That's fine. Too late now. That really would have been a good addition. I'll see if I can get a better close up on these in a second. Some paprika just to make it look prettier. I'd be worried about using too much if I put it on top of the eggs right now. photos. I'm going to plate it up soon. Um, I don't have any way of getting to Discord as of this second. Um, let me actually turn this one off. that it's going to gracefully turn off the camera. Deviled eggs, yes! I'm actually moving to the other counter to get a, a picture of these. I also made a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, that's very overexposed. Oh well. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up the rest of these, just in a container, so I can eat them later. I need to put. Uh, mayonnaise away. Then we're going to go into the other room and play some SMW. Where's the Kaizo at? It's coming in a second. I was uh, getting to the cooking stream first. And I was making basically the easiest possible things that I could think of just to kind of get used to doing this again. I think it went well. All right. Um... I hope you guys are okay with me eating my lunch, because that's what I'm about to do. Uh, this can stay. doing those.
So it's very unusual for me to have uh, put anything besides American cheese and zero grilled cheese. And I like the uh, cheddar. Good. It's colder than a grilled cheese sandwich should be, but it's fine. My timing was off. Mustang, I think that's mukbang. What's the weather like? Um, it's nice. It's it's really nice outside. Maybe a little on the warm side, but it just got done being cold here, so I'm really not going to complain about it. Spiky Pike, I will give you a bite of bread. Spike, good boy. All my neighbors are outside mowing. <laughs> Which is what I was trying to do earlier, but my uh, my batteries for my lawnmower right now, but they're recharging. Now you want tea? Hold on, I forgot my tea. Oh shoot, there's a logo. Ah, oh, that's cute. <laughs> I like that. I'll be right back. some good tea. If anybody's counting, in just a second I'll have finished eating three eggs in this in this meal. Where is my music at? I would like to stop it. There it is. No, meme hack we, we finished completely yesterday. I probably will do Diagonal Mario uh, World 2 sometime. Not right now, though. Now you're making deviled eggs? Perfect. Right. Last one. Down the hatch. Would have been a little better, I think, with the uh, the hot sauce. That's the reason I got it out. But it was so good.
you in boiling water. <laughs> So funny. One more bite. One more bite. Bike. Come here. Up here. Come on. That's a good boy. Yeah, when I worked in the deli, I had a a, a mesh strainer that was better suited for it because it was like a big flat strainer. Cheese tax was indeed paid. All right, so what do you say we play some video games? that doesn't like cheese? I can't believe such a thing. <clears throat> well, that was actually very tasty. I enjoyed that a lot. Did I look at this level? I don't think so. Having a swim after a hot sauna is a must. It feels like the cold water heals your wounds. Water level. Okay. <clears throat> so... I wonder if this layer two is already active. It's not. So the, the way that layer two smashing works, there's a trigger for it and once that's scrolled on screen, that's when the the smashing starts. Oops. So I can wait as long as I want to at the beginning before I start moving over to the right. And it's still going to be lined up properly. Mr. Spike. He's, uh, he's barking at the neighbors that have the audacity to be mowing their lawns on a sunny, like, 70-something degree day. <laughs> How dare they, indeed. <laughs> now you're on the right wavelength. Okay, so I should just wait. I don't think I'm in a huge hurry there. It's a raid from Boonie! Hey, Boonie! Boonie, you just missed, missed the cooking stream. <laughs> we made deviled eggs and a grilled cheese sandwich because I wanted to do things that were easy. You beat Invictus! That's amazing! Congratulations. Hmm. 
Yeah, I was starving, so we had uh, a small amount of mukbang before I started playing this. Which is Sauna Mario World, which uh, I am very thoroughly enjoying. I might be able to respawn that disco shell. I probably should try to do that, actually. Yo, thanks, Nyx. I'm really looking forward to your level tonight. So that disco is just going to hit the on-off <clears throat> to let the saws down. Uh-oh. I probably shouldn't despawn the saws, huh? Oh. Well, I can probably get away with despawning the saws, huh? second I hear somebody being bad in the other room Interesting. The on-off switch only stays pressed for a certain amount of time. the egg you did they were however delicious how'd it go um it went fine I did forget to use one ingredient but they were deviled eggs so It's not like it really got messed up. Okay. I need to time that better. The ingredient that I forgot to use was the hot sauce, which is... Um... Not exactly a traditional addition, but a tasty one. Wow. 
<laughs> uh, usually I use, uh, like, Frank's Red Hot. I don't put that shit on everything, though. Uh, today I was gonna be using Sriracha on the, on the eggs. Horseradish, now that sounds good. I have some, uh, some prepared horsey sauce I could have used. That actually would have been pretty good. Oh, that's, um, that's part of their marketing. People saying that they put that shit on everything. <laughs> Is the horse okay? Okay, sure. Whatever. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Secrets? Just admiring the view with my back turned. Get dunked on, you stupid dinosaur. Get stinked. <laughs> Good level. Fun little water level. I like the uh, like the temporary on-off switches. That was fun. Bright Falls. reason I thought the shell was going to bounce off of the uh, death nets. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a troll that would really fit. I'm so glad, by the way, that I played through Let's Give Up directly before your cape level for ROM hack races. I feel like I'm probably literally the best prepared that I've ever been to play uh, a cape level. I don't think I need that shell. Yeah, um, I think it's the right thing to do. There was a, there was a stretch for a while there where we got like four cape level back to back. Or I guess probably levels with caping would be more, uh, more accurate. So if you have leftover deviled eggs, it might get too strong. But if you have leftover deviled eggs, then I don't know who you are. Okay, leave the shell bouncing around, I think? I need to get some season salt. I've not had any for a little while. And it's, uh... Something I'm very fond of cooking with. <laughs> Can't spell egg without GG. <laughs> if you prepare it before. Bear. <laughs> Uh, 
I was unfortunately unable to prepare the six deviled eggs that I had planned. Because, you know, that's a single serving. Spike a pike! <laughs> you are in the way, bud. So, uh, deviled eggs, they're actually something that I will frequently bring to, like, uh, like a potluck. And, um, the way that I normally, uh, prepare them to bring from place to place is I'll bring, like, a, like a platter with absolutely nothing on it. And a Ziploc bag containing the cooked egg whites. And another one containing the, um... Or, or like a piping bag containing the, uh... <clears throat> the filling ready to put on the, uh... To, to put in the whites. That way I don't have to worry about them... Uh, getting ruined in transit. CJ, thank you so much for the follow. And NB official for five roses. Hey, Pizza Saturn. How you doing? <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a conundrum. Because I'm trying to play the video game. And this very cute dog... ...is saying that he would like some attention. So I'm going to give him some attention real quick. You're a good dog. You gonna hang out with me for a little bit? <laughs> really leaning into the scratches. <laughs> You're a good boy. You're a very good boy. Good dog. <clears throat> All right, I'll see you later, Spike. He's going to go out to the living room and find something to bark at. I'm sure. Is this a mod? Yes, this is a ROM hack. This is called Sauna Mario World. Oh. Yo, Dustin, thank you so much for the rose. Appreciate it. Actually, not fully sure what to do with that blue Koopa with his shell. Like I'm getting back here pretty easily. That's not what I'm supposed to do.
I'm gonna try just going. We'll see if it works. Like not trying to go straight over the top to land on the platform. I'm gonna do just one bounce off of, uh, I'm gonna aim for the shell. And see if that'll carry me over to the, um, where the platform is. <laughs> I'm already late there, aren't I? You're a big fan of SNES? I am too. It's probably my favorite video game console. It just had a lot of really, really good games on it. <clears throat> okay, well, I guess that works. H. My jump was a little bit late, but I was confused because, uh... Oh, I see. All right. I, I didn't see how I was going to make any use of this platform, but I get it. I don't know how to articulate how the moving pipes look different, but they look different. I can always tell when there's a moving pipe. Alright, a little slow. So somehow I swung too far to the left, and I ended up despawning that, uh... That piranha plant. And that was no good. Okay. He's gonna kick it. That's another moving pipe. You can very easily tell if you, uh, if you lose a life on the same screen as where the moving pipe is. Um, part of it will fade out differently than the rest of it. Just because of the way that, uh, SMW handles the fade out for sprites versus objects. Oh, that's... That's a good ending. I was in too much of a hurry, though. I was either too fast, or I threw the block too far to the right. Which, uh... Made the blue Koopa wait longer before kicking it. It was probably that. <clears throat> now, the only reason that we need to throw the shell up there... Is because... Uh, if you don't, there's like a 50% chance that uh, the shell would collide with the Koopa that I'm trying to bounce off of. Or at least that's how it would work with uh, vanilla physics. There's something that um, would make it consistent where I would always bounce off it instead of 
uh, potentially having the shells collide. <clears throat> but especially since there's an up arrow there uh, telling me I should be th throwing the shell up, I'm gonna keep doing that. TikTok stream crashed. Well, that's terrible. Let's go ahead and look at that. Spike a spike. Bud. <clears throat> Let's turn it off and back on and see if it just comes back. See if I've got a notification. I do not have a notification, but it does not want to come back. And I, well, I, I do have a notification saying that it's over. Which is weird. <clears throat> so we'll just restart it. Buddy, you are in the way. You're fine. Just a minute while I'm getting TikTok fixed. We don't go boy. We don't go boy. Spikey Spike. Big talk being weird in what way? Hopefully continue his barking in the other room. I really do think I'm just going too fast right there. Because I specifically tried to throw that shell pretty far to the left. Why is he barking? Because there are people mowing the grass outside across the street. The horror. <laughs> a 
I don't know why, but I would have put a Kaizo block there. That's funny. 25 deaths. 18 minutes, almost 19. That was a pretty long level. <clears throat> Tower Outskirts. Second to last level here. I actually didn't expect to even land on that platform on the bottom. So I wasn't ready to keep up with the saw once it started uh, taking off. wasn't a re-grab. So what I'm trying to do with uh, with those spinings is a technique that we call re-grabbing. And uh, what that allows me to do is get the decreased gravity from holding down the jump button without getting all of the height from pressing the jump button while I'm bouncing off of something. So essentially I just press the jump button just after I've done the bounce off of whatever enemy I'm bouncing off of. That allows me to get more horizontal distance without jumping too high and hitting my head. Even the dogs want, att want attention. So at that point, is it really a human desire? Yo, cat. You missed the, uh, the cooking and then mukbang streams. I did deviled eggs and a grilled cheese sandwich because I was trying to make uh, something that would be as simple as possible uh, to basically just test out the setup. And I think it worked well. I, I might need to adjust one thing to get the, <clears throat> the picture to be a little clearer. Food turned out great. That's important. Okay. Must be faster. Is the video up? Uh, you could see the VOD on Twitch or YouTube if you wanted to. I kind of doubt I'm going to do anything with it on TikTok. Certainly wouldn't have anything up right yet because uh, 
that was like half an hour ago, and I've been playing Mario since then. And I do not have the capability of editing video while I'm playing, unfortunately. If only. <clears throat> Woke up from an unplanned nap? Was it at least a good nap? doing a lot of naps lately. And I think it's been good for me. indicators. Have I ever played Mega Man X? Yes. It was a long time ago. Probably a good 20 years ago or something. Uh, pretty quick level. Six and a half minutes. 17 deaths. Tapestry Tower. Those aren't real, okay. <laughs> or I guess they're in the background. I've really been enjoying this. Um, something about this feels different than most hacks that I play. Like, it feels like the, the obstacles are maybe a little more spaced out than usual. Something like that. A magic orb lies at the top of this tower. Excuse me, a magical orb a magic orb lies on top of this tower. Touching it will teleport you to where your heart desires most. A sauna! It'll take me to a sauna. Don't even try to tell me it won't. Is this Bloody Tears? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. I need to use the thwomp. Man, that's close. <laughs> it's it's a meme. Bloody Tears is very frequently used in uh, ROM hacks. It's also mixed with something else that I can't identify. Is also pretty common. Well, I need that shell. I almost made that jump. I wonder if you just sat there and got P-Speed, if that would be possible. I should have known better about that thwomp, because just like this one, 
I can't just jump straight off of it and I need to use it twice. Surprise those aren't getting me. Man, that's a cool section. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be racing that platform up. Excellent indicators. Okay, it's going straight up over there. That's good. Really good setup. <clears throat> Door. Shoot. Shoot. It's gonna be like a line of thwomps up here or something, right? Dream World speedruns a long time ago were my introduction to Kaizo. Thanks, Pooh. It's Grand Pooh Bear, and he's... I was gonna say he's looking at Mario, but I got real scared about how that screen was scrolled. Hey, Coffee King. Come back here, Orb. One of these Orb chases. I'm gonna assume that uh, <clears throat> it's not gonna be possible to catch this orb early. And even if it was, it would probably ruin my day. This is what the third, maybe fourth Castlevania track we've had in this level.
This is really cool. Orb. <clears throat> very, very cool ending. Congratulations, you made it. <clears throat> Sauna Mario World, a ROM hack by Panaha. Based on Super Mario World by Nintendo. Inspiration by a lot of really good uh, creators. Mm. I know Slopcore. All assets from SW Central. Specifically, these people. Thank you for the GGs. suspects for the ASM and blocks. I bet that special thanks to Danimo's trade is for his tutorial. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Finally, Mario can enjoy a proper sauna. Thanks for playing. I bet those rocks are painful. <laughs> What's in the door? Bonus stuff with no more exits. Title screen level. I built the title screen around the vanilla movement. You can try playing it here. Hard mode, don't get wet. The original level one. First level I ever made in Lunar Magic. It's not terrible, but I don't regret remaking it. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Oh, I would like to see the portraits. Replay Tapestry Tower credits again. Yeah, let, let's do uh, let's do the original level one, and we'll look at the portraits. Almost every jump is a full jump in this section. A lot of stalling. song. <clears throat> you know, for this being my first level, I think this is a pretty good first level. My first level is a whole, uh, it's a whole trope in Mario Maker. I've played more levels than I could ever possibly count that have exactly that as their name. Exit to the left, okay. Really should not have gotten B speed. But I made my bed and now I have to lie in it. Mushroom? Panaha. <laughs> I 
Look at this ceiling. I was trying to spin jump from the block over to there. And since there's this weird bump on the ceiling that I couldn't see, I landed straight on the muncher. How would I have ever gotten through there on the first try? Nice. <clears throat> yeah, he was right saying that uh, it was a lot of it's slopcore. Um, see, <laughs> slopcore played through this hack twice on stream before release. He suffered so everyone else could suffer less. Thank you for your service, Slopmore. It's Third Wall! Third Wall makes some cool levels. I got the idea for my last level from Mostly Harmless. <laughs> Laser Belch, we saw this one earlier. I backseated once in Laser's chat, and he gave me the longest middle finger I've ever seen. I deserved it. It's Barb! The Layer 2 was meant to be as fast as in Grand Pool World 2 Bowser fight. I tried my best. Here's the result. Uh, Flower, thank you so much for the follow. It's just Cook. It's nice having someone stream during the day for me. Thanks, Juz. It's, uh, it's Tofu. Noble Tofu. It's a secret! Extra secret. It's, uh, it's Orca. Orca streams rarely these days, but he's a good dude. Orca does seem like a good dude. I haven't seen very many of Orca's streams. It's Harrison Ford! I named the last level after a scene in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's a funny scene. Can't start select. Oh, this is Pooh. Pooh's Dram World speedruns a long time ago were my introduction to Kaizo. Thanks, Pooh. Side exit. Tapestry Tower. I'm trying to think of what, uh,. what scene that would have been. Alright, well, we're done with Sonam Mario World. I really enjoyed that game. I kind of wish I had played it earlier, just because of how much I liked it. Ending stream? No, I'm gonna play something else. Just started. Um, let's see. I've got three hours before the race. I really want to play Brave New World too, but I'm gonna hold off uh, for another day. How did I like Gamble 2? I really enjoyed it. That was a great hack.
I might do that one. I'm gonna look and see what else I have. Don't really want to do copy and paste right now. <sighs> I have not seen anybody play this. I'll give it a try and see what it looks like. Am I only on TikTok or am I on Twitch? I am on everything. I am currently streaming to both Twitch and TikTok and YouTube. <laughs> this was made by Desert. I'm pretty sure that Darker Dank played, uh, other wrong acts before he played this one. how many exits this is. <laughs> I, uh... I'm not sure at... Ooh, this is long. I'm not sure of the, uh, the quality or difficulty of this. But, uh, I'll give it a try. I've played some of Desert stuff before. Up my splits real quick and then we're gonna get started. Alright, I think we're good. You just came back, what am I supposed to do here? I am supposed to press start and start playing. Three, two, one, go! Hey Mario, can you please get me some water? Someone just redeemed drink water says Darker Dang. Reset the death counter. Dr. Kredunk's pad. <clears throat> Dear viewers, I don't have much time, but a gang of Koopa misfits are here, and I think they plan to kidnap me. I hear something ab out the boss and Twitch headquarters. Oh no, they're here! Darker Dink. Why is Yoshi's house this way? Why does it all have priority? It really is, Cat. <laughs> Switch stockade. Thank you very much for that follow. So I'm going to be coming back to this level at some point. Mount Tutorial. We'll go through a tutorial. Oh. Okay. So those are death blocks. Orb! Orb! 
beaten levels already. <laughs> I learned, uh... I learned about the... <laughs> the note blocks. <laughs> Easy game for babies. Elusive Yellow is like uh, something that just shows up in the font, right? Yeah, I, I saw it. That is a jump. I can't really do much to make this any easier for myself. Just gotta get good at the timing. <laughs> All right, so we've got to save. I need to see if the tutorial orb actually counted as an exit. Probably not. Apparently it did. Okay, so this has a secret exit in it, maybe? if desert is properly putting the secret exit thingy. <laughs> Probably. You learned so much from that speed run. <laughs> I feel like it's not a guarantee that there's actually a secret exit here. That sort of looks like one up there, doesn't it? A keyhole. <laughs> All right. Gangster Grotto. Let me look around the overworld real quick first. <laughs> yep, 
Yo, Plagiarizer, thank you so much for that, Hermie. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a quick break. Thank you also for the confetti. Um, we've got ads going on Twitch, and I've been going for about two hours now, so this, this is a good time for a break. I'm gonna run some clips, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Oh, that fish should have gotten me. Hey, Jonas. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It was actually Grand Pooh Bear who made Grand Pooh World 2. That was quick. That was a really, really quick Thalassophobia. Yes, but see, I, I played... Why do I have a delete uh, an eraser button? That was interesting. I played enough Celeste.SMC that I really like having this extra momentum. I did a great job with this hack. Oh. I regrabbed too much. Falling Moon. I like that. That's super funny. <laughs> Dude, I really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for making this ROM hack. Alright, um, I was gonna try and practice some more, but And just like that, we're back. Gangster Grotto. Oh. That is certainly a way to start a level. Oh. It wasn't that long, right? Uh, thank you very much for that follow. Appreciate that. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <laughs> I have to go right away at the beginning, and then I'm gonna want to wait just a little bit before making this jump. And then I think I need to just run off and do a quick bounce off that. Uh, Rex. Uh, so the grilled cheese was actually pretty decent. Um, I did it with half American, half sharp cheddar cheese. Whereas I normally would just use only American cheese. 
and it was good. Uh, I did probably wait a little bit too long before eating it, so it was a little on the cold side, which is not exactly what you want from a grilled cheese sandwich, but it was fine. The eggs, however, were great. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Do I need to hold jump there? No. Yeah, my plan is to try to do them every, uh, every Saturday. So there's gonna be more opportunities. People seem to like it. How's this going? It's, uh, it's going. This level seems very precise. Like I'm I'm forced to start moving right away is why I keep making this jump slightly improperly. Weird setups. Nintendo Hawk, hey, how you doing? It's been a little bit, but it's good to see you again. I think these moles are carrying guns. Looking at their sprites. How's the Mario world? It's... it's going. Oh, you were doing Mario RPG? Was that a first playthrough of Mario RPG? And also, is that the original or the remake? playthrough and you are doing the remake okay where did you get stuck I I'm very curious about that Mario RPG used to be uh, really high up there on my list of favorite games <clears throat> after the sixth star Just, uh, finding where to go to make your way to, to go after that. Stuck at Land's End, only recently found how to get the bonus balloon key. I see. When you say sixth star, you mean that's the one that you got from Seaside Town? Was that just an optional level? I think it was. Okay. <clears throat> Active aquifer. What's an aquifer? Okay. 
I think... I think that may be the fifth star. Yeah. That, that's why I was a little confused. Because that's a very understandable uh, place to be stuck at. Um, after the next star is, uh, it's very explicit about where you need to be going after that. Not, not to put too fine a point on that. There's a muncher there. There's still a muncher there. That's good, though. Uh, I assume you're enjoying the game. It's, uh... I haven't played the remake myself. Um, I, I actually watched a friend of mine play through it. And I don't feel like I would get a whole lot of, uh... A whole lot out of that game that I didn't already get from, um... Having played through the original many, many times. Yeah, that, that's a pretty tough fight against Jinx. It does have a good reward, though. Suddenly, I can't do this jump anymore. Yeah, um... I'm just... I'm not big on doing remakes of games, like, at all. Even, even something like Mario RPG that is one of my favorite games ever. Like, I have no interest in playing the Thousand Year Door remake when it comes out. Oh yeah, really good music. Uh, very enduring. In fact... I can't... can't exit out like that. Uh... Mario RPG music is extremely commonly used in SMW ROM hacks. Like we hear out here on the overworld. And uh, there's a song that I, I think you probably haven't heard yet. That is one of the most used songs in all of ROM hacks. can't see that muncher. And I just kind of need to memorize the fact that it's there. I don't know if that Chuck was supposed to, like, charge through that wall. I guess probably not. short levels, though. Um, so there was something going on in, in that level. Uh, I, I don't know if it was super clear, but there's like, there was a darkening effect towards the top and bottom of the screen. Really, really weird uh, to play with that. Thank you for the GG. If anybody was curious, a car did just drive past.
<laughs> Yo, strong dick. Good to see you. I didn't realize that Twitch let you keep that name. Pauses at the clear. Well, there are some cases where you can die after the uh, after the goal tape, so it's not always a given that. Okay, I see what you. <laughs> well, not the old name. But like, I thought they, uh, they didn't allow anything that even sounded like what you used to have. <clears throat> Man, these are short levels. Probably just not been reported enough. Fair. <laughs> Downhill dash. You can't slide kill them. Oh, is this the entire level? I think I see a secret exit. Am I on Switch? No. I use a Super NT. L is real, 2401. Yeah, this is, uh, this is something. I honestly have no idea what the 2401 is, but L is real is uh, Mario 64 stuff. you had the patience to play this, eh, it's not that bad. Oh, that's his birthday. Okay. Oh, you might have made it up. Well, it sounds plausible. <laughs> This one should have a secret exit. You can give me a second just to exist before throwing things at my head. Playing Elden Ring, I think I probably would enjoy playing Elden Ring, but I have a, a disease where when there's games in a series, I feel a need to uh, 
play every game in that series. And I count Elden Ring being part of Dark Souls. Ooh! Synthy with the self dupster. I've played a little bit of the first Dark Souls. I, uh, I don't know if I just was playing a really bad build or if I was just not good enough at the game. I got very, very stuck. And, uh, I spent eight hours throwing myself at Ornstein and Smo, and decided to give up. Rondo of Blood is annoying, but also fun. <clears throat> um, my Castlevania experience is fairly limited. I've played through a few of the Metroidvania-style Castlevanias. Symphony of the Night, Portrait of Ruin, um, Dawn of Souls. Generally speaking, the handheld ones are what I've played. Symphony Knight speed strats. Doesn't Symphony Knight have like a lot of really cool movement tech in it? What if that isn't a secret exit? I consider Symphony of the Night to be one of the greatest games of all time. I don't feel like that's a very hot take either. Uh, it starts with a C. They put it out on 360, but that was just, like, uh, the original game. I think a lot of the reason why they're not doing much with Castlevania is because it's Konami, and Konami has no idea what they're doing. It's a rare drop in one of the areas. I remember because when I played, I, uh, I was reading through a guide at the same time to make sure I didn't miss anything.
Ugh. Thank you for the GG's. <clears throat> Bombastic Bonanza. Hey! It's Mario RPG music. Surely I need that bomb, right? I've seen very little of Symphony of the Night speedrunning, but I remember I remember just being amazed at uh, the way they were able to move. Vorpal Blade. Uh, tonight's race is a 7 out of 10 difficulty, and it's a cape level. I'm expecting it to be pretty tough. I disagree. Surely I don't need it anymore. Yumpent. Part of the stockade has now been repaired. Blink to block. I don't know that I've seen the Vorpal Blade. It's... it's a ROM hack. It's okay. It, it very much has a feeling of it being somebody's first ROM hack. Which I'm not sure if that is the case, but that's definitely how it feels to me. Uh, j -Bats, thank you for the follow. What a very strange boss fight this is. I can't get that mushroom anymore. I'm good, Steve. How are you? Excellent. If I could stop taking damage for a second, that'd be great. Also should wait longer before grabbing these blocks. 
It's so hard to avoid, man. I also cannot safely spin off of it. Because SMW is a perfect game with no flaws. My... my movement is so limited by... having only these throw blocks to stand on safely. I can't... I can't get that homing boo to not hit me. I'm also assuming that this is only three hits. I agree. Well, some of the levels have been, um, not like super hard, but they've been precise. What am I supposed to do? Hit the boo. Come on! Yes, you can only spin jump on the leading boo, and if it spawns in another boo at the same time you're spin jumping on it, it still hits you. So it's not exactly a good idea to try spin jumping off of it. Because you can do it, but it's not reliable to do it every time. Hence, SMW being a perfect game with no flaws. Bony Baron. Okay. So I can't stand on the cactus. Hey, Pharaoh. How you doing? Thank you for the heart, me. Ok, 
Okay, that needs to be a regular jump. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, did the first cooking stream in the new house earlier today. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you so much for that controller gift. Yeah, I did it completely unannounced, so it's not a big surprise. Did uh, deviled eggs and a grilled cheese sandwich. Because those two things were probably the simplest possible things I could think of to make. Do I need to keep my slope speed here? How the deviled eggs turned out? They were really good. I'm looking forward to devouring the rest of them. Oh, desert, why? You found a job and bought a car? Hey, that's excellent. Oh yeah, deviled eggs are great. What, uh, what kind of job did you get, if you don't mind me asking? That's such a dumb way to die. To find the blue switch palace, find the secret in Grinder Grove. Hint, right of the giant gun. I've already done that. Oh my gosh. My current position is uh, like a hybrid, which it actually makes sense for me because I'm at least for now having to put my hands on uh, on hardware every now and then. <clears throat> Temple trouble. Keep that shell in tow, otherwise thou shall pay the ultimate sacrifice, my friend. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to pay an ultimate sacrifice.
or am I? <laughs> Shit. Uh, this might still be savable. We'll see what he does here. Get wrecked, desert. I don't need your stupid shell. <laughs> Never punished. <laughs> My favorite way to beat a level, teasing it. Shy Guy Swamp. is a heck of a slope on that pipe. Yeah, it is. Like, it barely even started. <laughs> There's so many... Trina, I hope everything goes well for you. I'm pretty sure that was the secret. I, I don't know for sure, but just the way the overworld looks, I think that we're going to beat this level and then find a Switch Palace. I just trust this? to manipulate Wigglers. What is that coin supposed to be? <laughs> I mean, do I just go in the pipe or something? Because I don't know how I could ever get a jump good enough to actually get across there. <laughs> One of my f uh, favorite instances of dealing with Wigglers came from a ROM hack race level. 
Uh, it was made by Dent, do you? And he had a message box at the very beginning of the level saying that technically Wigglers were not jank. And to me, technically not being jank is the worst kind of not being jank. I did not expect to make that jump. <laughs> so that's just like a big chungus regrab. Because if I if I hit my head on the top of that pipe, uh, it makes me start moving downwards. This hack has been strange. It's, it's had very short levels, but some of the levels have had very precise jumps in them. Where did I find this? Uh, it was just on SMW Central. I went looking through the list of intermediate hacks. Uh, it's a couple years old. It jumped out at me because it had uh, Darker Dink's name on it. Oh. Fun fact, how I... <clears throat> excuse me. How I originally discovered Darker Dink was by seeing him play Super Germ Death World. Okay, bigger jump. The biggest of all big Chungus regrams. Is that a hack that I created? No. It was made by my good friend Dobbsworks. H! Desert! <laughs> yeah, EJ is kind of a weird nerd. I like EJ a lot. That's fine. Let's despawn him. Yeah, yeah, what's up, Cynthia? <laughs> There's a guy, so. <laughs> Incorrect! There are, in fact, two Kaizos. God, why, Desert? Why? I don't like jumping into a one-tile gap. It's not something I think is very fun. How many exits? 25? Yeah, 25. 
This is Sonic music? I never would have been able to tell you. I don't know Sonic music very well. <laughs> yeah, same. Although I'd probably try to make an argument for it being Donkey Kong Country music. <laughs> oh, I should not have grabbed that from the right side. We're good. <laughs> we did mess up the overworld just a tiny bit though also I was wrong <coughs> that was a completely optional exit Was a little bit of my soul leaving my body just then <laughs> because of uh, this shot out of the cannon if I hold the jump button down um, I will hit my head on the muncher at the top there If I don't hold the jump button at all, I'm too low to actually bounce off of anything. <laughs> the levels are, at least have been very short. Yo, Dino Mom. I'm excited to play Nyx's level. Um, I just finished playing through uh, Let's Give Up. So I feel like I'm in literally the best shape I've ever been to try to play a cape level. Yep. Also, I really like Let's Give Up. I need to not do a full jump. <laughs> Grab. 
Uh, you can make suggestions, but I make no guarantees that I would take them. Uh, 8 Eastern, so 2 hours. Just a regram. Hato for boyfriend. <laughs> uh, I see the connection. I think that's just a regram. I am trying to have a day for streams where I'm not playing Mario things, which is uh, it's going to be Sunday. Um, I think for tomorrow. I'm pretty locked in on doing Bread and Fred with Al. Oh, alright. Very, very happy to be done with that section. Do I have to jump out of that gap? Huh? I just worry that the, uh... The, the back shy guy is going to be too far away for me to safely regrab to. Chungus regrab. Super Star Wars. Uh, come on, desert. Super Empire Strikes Back. I, uh, I remember playing through that a long time ago, and I was super disappointed that it was, uh, very possible, and in fact, even likely, to miss out on getting the Force powers. <laughs> uh. 
So that was a wall jump. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> um, wall jumps are pixel and frame perfect. Unless that was somehow uh, not just a regular wall jump, but it sure felt like one. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Calamity Cove. <laughs> Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> Subpixel perfect? I actually don't know if that's true. I just, uh... Oh yeah, that, that seems like it would be. Should be taking breaks during ads so that people like Nyx don't get stuck in ads. And so I get to take breaks. Doopster. Do I like not want that mushroom or something? I take it back, I want the mushroom. Thank you, Cynthia, giving us a chance to hear from Barb talking about dupesters. I am a dupester. Oh. <sighs> okay, I don't want the mushroom. How in the heck do you not take the mushroom? <clears throat> Mushrooms stunkened. <laughs> right. <laughs> problem is that uh, you get the cool moment from having unpatched wall clips. But then you also get the super uncool moment from uh, flipping into literally every wall and getting your spin jump eaten. Heroes and Sonic Unleashed. Uh, I am not a Sonic game enjoyer. I tried to enjoy Sonic Generations because I heard that was 
the good 3D Sonic. Did not care for it. Ooh, breaking throw blocks and seams makes me mad. If that was a spin, I probably could have made that work. <clears throat> I don't think that upspreading really bothers me much anymore. Because it feels, um preventable for the most part, or at least understandable. Okay. By the power of the balance from a block, anything can be killed. Block in order to wake up the fish. Oh. Thank you, Desert. Probably throw that right away. if you will. Midnight Madness. <sighs> okay. I do find myself forgetting that I can't jump off of those note blocks myself. Those are just sprite bounce blocks. what to do there. <clears throat> okay. Never mind, I do have a clue what to do there. Uh, those bullets are lined up kind of weird, though. Oh. 
I feel like the jumps in here have been very demanding that I approach them a very specific way. <laughs> I don't... I don't know him, Dougie. We had some direct quotes from, uh, from, Dr. from Dr. Kerdunk earlier. You know, technically, I didn't sanction Super Germ Duck World. I think I just hold the jump button there. <laughs> yes. Desert, please. I felt like I did really good hitting two Kaizo blocks there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> <coughs> What is that womp? <laughs> I was expecting it to go up. <laughs> GG, oh, thank what? you. <clears throat> All right, Mario's dead. Patero's Plaza. Hoi, Mario! I am Patero! What is Tat? Darker Dank is captured? That's no good! You can see it over the horizon. This is the endgame. <laughs> what am I doing? What is this? Where's the level? <laughs> oh, this, okay. I wasn't prepared for this, but I get it. You hate that emote and desert is the reason why. <laughs> Not really familiar. <laughs> Caped capers. Any capers?
So surely I need to go in that pipe for a secret exit, right? <clears throat> It's not like the worst, but I'm not a huge fan of the camera stuff that's going on. Did I really just miss that? I felt like I was pretty solidly in the middle of that pipe. <laughs> No, like, what I'm curious about is, uh, if that's even a pipe that's possible to enter. The coins would suggest that it is, but I guess you never really know. I may have, uh, stick this up your pipe loaded on my SD card. Which, if you've never seen it, that hack has a very unique title screen. God. <laughs> Swimming tide. Return of Mario RPG for the Switch Palace. That bullet's gonna kill me. Yumpent. Part of the stockade has now been repaired. Blank to block. Yeah, the, the combat music from Mario RPG is one of the all-time songs. It's a Gossip Greg raid. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a ROM hack so far. Nobody can deny it's been a ROM hack. I think that's all of the stockade that I've unlocked. Where are you playing, Greg? Mostly harmless. That sounds like fun. Unquestionably one of the ROM hacks that has ever been made. True. Very true. <clears throat> I want to do mostly harmless one of these days. And flip the switch. Probably flip the switch. Uh, I would want to do first. <clears throat> All right. 
right, well, we got another exit. I played um, one of the levels in the Switch turned into uh, was um, was a ROM hack race level before the hack itself launched, and I enjoyed that one. It's a visitor center. Mostly harmless is the only hack you've quit because of a troll. Yikes. In the land of the livid dead, jumping and spinning can be changed instantaneously with A or B. Be warned, anyone who attempts this challenge will proceed to face something like no other in this world. Be wise. Land of the Livid Dead. <clears throat> Instantaneously. Wow, look how fast I'm changing. I don't have to wait at all. see it <laughs> I don't know I might have seen that one You know, I kind of like the Death Sprite edit. I didn't say anything about that through the hundreds of times that I've seen it. The biggest weakness so far has been the camera. It's got like an echo on it. How'd I miss? I could just re-grab off of that right away. I'll give it a try.
I was not expecting to hit that bubble. I was kind of surprised that it worked out just fine even after I hit it. Like, it makes sense that it's not going to uh, take away my spin jump. But I just felt like something would get ruined there. wasn't a re-grab. I was aiming to do one. I made the classic blunder of not pressing the right buttons at the right time. Can you imagine such a thing? Nope. Can't just do a re-grab. <laughs> it's just timing. There's no skill involved in playing Mario. That goes without saying. You know, I'm starting to think that Mario isn't my game. I probably ought to, ought to try out Roadblocks. <laughs> A child could push buttons. And by Factorio, you mean Stardew. I think everybody's been uh, itching to give another Stardew uh, day a shot. How so, Cynthia? <laughs> Al's over here playing single player. He's getting ahead of us. I'm a dupster. Thank you, Cynthia. Give us a chance to hear from Dobbs. I should try playing with the cats more. I was thinking about that the other day. I do have some kitty cat toys for them. tries to play with the kitty cats just about every day. Uh, I don't think they like playing with Spike very much. And none of them are mean enough to uh, 
actually tell Spike no. I'm a dupester. Desert, what the hell is that supposed to be? Okay. I hope you guys don't feel, uh, don't, don't think any less of me for, uh, deciding not to continue that level, which seems to be pretty clearly optional. Also, if I had waited to just come back here after I had beaten the the final level, I probably wouldn't have had to go all the way through the in the pipe overworld. Owl's block, it's leaving. Do you get more horizontal speed jumping off of a chuck than you do moving to the right? That doesn't seem right. I know you do with, um, walking speed. We'll just get B speed there. Thank you for the Kaizo block. How is that even supposed to get you? <laughs> germ, hey germ, germ, can you hear me? Germ, good night, germ. I can. Are you actually going to bed, Cynthia? I know it's pretty late over there. All right. Have a good night. Okay. It did get me, yes. <laughs> it's exactly a, I think I'll get P-Speed here. Oh, I have to jump over the pollen, guys, of luck. <laughs> Any, any luck? <laughs> Bye, Sithy. Skyzo star. Sithy pulling all the luck emotes. Spam the luck now. The Was that last one? Oh my god, desert. Oh, sweet dude. I was... Yeah. 
definitely Kaizen. And then what? Oh, okay. Alright, alright, that's fine. I don't know if his talking is coming through or not. Is the world better with or without Kaizo blocks? They are a tool and they are neutral. And their value is determined by how they are used by the individual. Desert is a menace. <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, Spike was talking without barking. I think it's really funny that that platform catches me. <laughs> I think I can do this. I don't know if that's intended. Got him. Sure did. Okay, so for a second I thought that I was done with the p-switch even though it had just started louder spiky spike we didn't hear you but you're a good dog Surely there was another Kaizo block at the end there. <laughs> All right. Cliff climb two. This feels very familiar. Uh, in fact, Desert did a ROM hack race level that I think this might be a direct sequel to. Wow, that's kind of a tough jump. <clears throat> He's so funny. He'll like stand halfway on me and half on the desk and stretch and stay there as he's trying to jump down. Spike does give kisses. Not all the time, though. He's pretty good about it.
Yo, Jimmy, thank you so much for the gifts. I appreciate those. Sort of tough. I think I just need to do a big jump all the way over to the left. Um, the first time I was up there, I'm pretty sure I was just slow. Very, very quick jumps off of those uh, brown platforms. slow again. I'm surprised I've managed to bounce off of him at all. Did me absolutely no good. If only there was some way that uh, we were able to use that muncher floor later on. I can be forgiven for not realizing that that was a fast falling platform.
Oh, gosh. Uh, well, that was actually a work call. Uh, I'm going to have to do something soon. But I should be able to finish up this level, and then we're going to call it until the race. <clears throat> Yeah, I need to, uh, in fact, let's just call this right here because, um, there's something I really need to check on to make sure it's going to be as simple to do as I think it is. Um, but I, I need to get ready for that now. Uh, thank you everybody for being here. Um, I'm going to try, certainly, to be on for the ROM hack race. That's in a little bit more than an hour. Um, and I'll see everybody next time. It's over. It's over! Mm-hmm.